For the second time, a frustrated resident tells us they have been scammed out of their home. In this new case, the rifle owner says there were a lot of obvious signs that something was wrong, but apparently no one in the recorder of Dean's office was paying attention. Investigator Elliot Davis is following this huge and costly problem in tonight's You Paid For It. This is an unbelievable nightmare for Jay Brandon and his family. He says he bought the house in North St. Louis for him and his family, only to discover that three days after he bought it, it was signed over to someone else. And I saw some people working on it, and I was just like, dang. So I pulled up and I asked them what was going on, and they said they had got hired by the new owner to clean out the house. He never knew the St. Louis Recorder of Deeds had allowed the transfer of ownership to someone else through a quitclaim deed. He says the house he bought for $15,000 had been transferred to an alleged scammer three days later for $2,000. He frantically headed the city hall to the Recorder of Deeds office that handled the transfer of ownership. They told me I needed to get a police report first, so then I went and obtained a police report. He showed St. Louis police where he'd been the rightful owner and that he had not authorized a transfer of ownership. Sure enough, police later confirmed that the property was now registered to someone else. He says they weren't sure, though, what to do about it next. He says he went back to the Recorder of Deeds office only to get the runaround to several offices at City Hall. Brandon says there were obvious signs on the quick claim deed that something was wrong. For one, the signature was wrong. It was his name backwards, last name first. And that's not all. The same person is listed as a witness and as the person who's supposed to receive the property. How do you react to that? It's, it's sad that they could have took just an extra step to look into something. They could see the signature. It's day and night. I called you. I initially sent the email just reaching out because mm -hmm. you seem to always help people. He says he saw my story last month about attorney Bernadette Brown, who had lost her house in St. Louis because the recorder of deeds office approved the quit claim deed, even though the notary that was required on the document turned out to be a fake. It shouldn't be that easy to steal. Steal! They stole my property. St. Louis recorder of deeds Michael Butler did talk to me for that story. Shouldn't you guys have checked the notary to make sure that the notary was legitimate? It is not our job to check notary publics. We go through over 60,000 documents a, a year, and it's not our requirement to do that. Your office made a mistake. I think the very indication that we made a mistake is so frivolous that uh, anyone in, in this room or outside this room will say that we've done our job to a T. You don't like the way the Recorder of Deeds handled this, right? No, sir. Now, the St. Louis Recorder of Deeds office had no comment on Brandon's case and no more to say about Bernadette's case. Instead, they referred me to the St. Louis City Council's office. They, too, had no comment. I did take one more step, though. I asked the St. Louis City Circuit Attorney's office if they were going to get involved in these cases. They promised to get back to me. Of course, I'll keep you up on this deal. After all, you paid for it.